Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mog Spotlight where we take apart what you build. I'm Starbreaker and today I wanted to try something new with you guys. Last time I asked you guys to build some dragons and well I only got one participant so I wanted to fine tune this a little more to see if this is something we can get the ball rolling on. But before that, I wanted to show you the two dragons from the lone participant from my last challenge to you all. From boards member Bodhi, I present to you two dragons, one of fire and one of ice. At least, I think it's a fire dragon. Starting with the red dragon, simply titled Red Bionicle Dragon, I was genuinely impressed by not just the size, but the fullness of this mock. It conveys a powerful, towering figure without the trouble of much gappiness or lack of cohesion in its shaping. The way everything is tight-knit while still allowing for articulation and posability is very impressive, and much of the build has inspired me to build or rebuild my own dragon mocks. The head shaping here is pretty fantastic. It kind of makes me think of a cross between a Ninjago dragon and a Rahi build. Maybe it's all the red, but I'm getting serious Miserix vibes from this. I like how the Rakshi piece is being used for the back of the neck, and I also like the multi-point connections used for the base of the neck. The chest is nice and full, sporting a well-armored and layered look that I think works perfectly for a dragon build, and appears to have some articulation in the midsection leading to the waist. The tail is attached in a great spot to still support itself and not get in the way, which is something sometimes hard to pull off with bipedal builds like this, but this build nails it perfectly. The legs are very well put together and sturdy looking, and impressively full from every angle. The meaty clawed feet are great looking as well, ensuring this fellow looks intimidating from head to toe. Truly, a fantastic build of epic proportions. Quite literally. Now, for build number two, Ice Dragon. With this build, Bodhi starts off simple statement of because the world needs more Bionicle Dragon Box. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. Right off the bat, this build shares a lot of similar traits to its sibling build, but seems to be notably larger due to the dragon walking on four legs rather than two. The head and neck are the most similar to the prior build, but I have no complaints with that due to the design already proving to be wonderful. I do like the choice for silver for the teeth, however, given the rest of the build is mostly white, as it accents the mechanical look being conveyed while not simply blending in uh, as part of the rest of the dragon and getting washed away in a sea of white. I really like the use of silver and translucent blue all over the build as well to keep it accented and visually interesting. The return of the massive menacing claws is a great touch for the front legs too. And while I would have loved to see it echoed on the back feet as well, the choice of Paraka feet here works just as fine. The continued incorporation of masks, shields, heads, and armor is truly great, and reminds me of the Kenohi Dragon Rahi, which is one of my favorite Rahi from Bionicle. I really appreciate the fullness of the torso, connecting everything together here as well, and am once again impressed by the sheer amount of parts usage to make everything look whole, connected, and tight-knit. The transition to the tail here is also wonderful, and I appreciate its capacity to stay full in appearance rather than simply being tacked on. Overall, two very imposing and phenomenal builds that are very much deserving of a showcase. Well done to you, Bodhi. Alright, now to the topic of challenges. I want to present to you all a theme challenge every other mock spotlight. Presently, I am aiming to ship these videos every two weeks still, with slight variances to the schedule every now and then if life gets a little bumpy. But every other video will be a challenge video as to showcase what is already on the boards and inspire some new builds. These challenges will now be hosted exclusively through the TTV message boards with the topic going live the Monday following the Mock Spotlight video, which currently ship on Fridays. That way, the weekend can serve as a buffer period for some of you to start building. The entry period will last one week, ending on the Monday after the challenge goes live. 
That way, hopefully, some of you busier folks will have a chance to participate as well. The winner of the challenge will be whatever build receives the most hearts on the message boards by the Monday after the entry period closes, giving me time to tally the likes and make the showcase video. There will be an honorable mention segment for participants as well, so depending on how many participants there are, you could very well see your entry in the follow-up video, even if you don't get the most hearts on your post. This will be reiterated in the topic that launches this Monday, but the guidelines are simple. Along with the title of your build, you'll need to add a challenge, followed by the challenge's name. In this case, inspired by Bodhi's dragons, the challenge for this week will be Fire and Ice. So, when you post your build, make sure it includes Challenge, Fire and Ice in the title, so it'll be easier to find. That's all I've got for today, though. I hope you all enjoy the video. With this challenge idea still being new, I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and check out the message boards at board.ttvchannel.com to see more cool builds or talk with fellow LEGO fans. If you want to support us even further, you can become a patron starting at $1 a month, which will grant you access to our Discord server for live updates, live podcasts, and, most importantly, live shenanigans. You'll even get access to our Biocraft to Minecraft faction server, where you can explore part of the Bionicle world made from blocks rather than bricks. Take care, everyone. I look forward to seeing what you build, and I'll see you all next time.